Liyue Harbor feels even lonelier than Juyun Karst. When I look at the sea of clouds in Juyun Karst, I merely feel the loneliness of a solitary cloud gazer. When I step into the sea of people in Liyue, I feel the loneliness of an inhuman that doesn't belong in the human world. Ah, I... Uh, humans should not remain in the realm of Adepti for too long. Considering the kindness you have shown me, I can let you stay for the Adeptus training. Yay! This Instead of explaining yourself to me, you should face your true self. I... I have nothing to hide. Hmm. That won't be necessary, Mr. Balai. Wanyo Boutique's credit is not sufficient to accept orders directly from Yua High Pavilion. Should we need to place such an order, we would certainly go to Second Life instead. What? Genshin Impact with Don Yu's story quest. Of course! Ugh, their every transaction makes my blood boil. I'd rather lose money myself than see that rascal make some. Is that how competitors behave? Well then, please look over this tax record. We'll review Second Life's credit based on your observations. Oh, of course! I'll read very, very carefully. Line by line, and word by word. Ah, here I found it! That exquisite wooden furniture set he bought from Fanmu Carpenters at the beginning of the year. Ugh, he even flaunted it in front of me. Look at the tax record. Not a word about that furniture. And he kept all the profit for himself. I see. He must have gotten rid of all the documents related to this transaction. No wonder there was no trace of it. Hmm, <laughs> I told you so. Just as I expected. Ugh, I can't wait to watch him squirm. But, Ms. Ganyu, despite all this, can't he just flat out deny ever making this transaction? He might have destroyed all the evidence, but I believe the supplier, Fanmu Carpenters, might still have some proof of it. Aha, uh -huh, you're right. Master Lu from Fonmu Carpenters must still have the invoice. He wouldn't be swayed by the likes of Dongshan. I hope so. Let's go to Fonmu Carpenters. It should be near Chingsa Village. Thank you for shining a light on this case, Mr. Balai. Oh, please, please, that's nothing. I just hope you won't be lenient with him once you find the evidence. That's the best way to show your gratitude. <sighs> I'm afraid I can't go to Chingsa Village. It's all right, Weishin. You can stay in Liyue Harbor and finish your work. Leave the rest to us. Ah, oh, that's so considerate of you. Still, I'm sorry to trouble you like that. Hmm, simple enough it is. Uh, nothing. No, 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 no. Well, actually, wait a minute. What do you sell? Apples. Ah, yes, actually. I don't like none of these. I can hear the ocean. Why am I being asked about a Chinese rocket? There's a rocket that went off? Well, what about it? What's it gonna do? Should I be worried? Should I really care? Actually, this is something that Zach is actually asking me. Ah, damn it. 
Hello there. Ah, welcome, welcome. How can an old carpenter like me help you? <laughs> I'm usually happy to take new apprentices, but uh, I'm afraid I can't take too many at once. But I'm always around if you're keen for a chat. <laughs> That flying one. Uh, a diamond, sorry. What about the other flying one? Master Lu, we've just come to see you and ask you some questions. <laughs> ah, don't worry, I know. You're from the UI Pavilion, right? Why would the Chi Sing care about an old man like me? Well, whatever. You said that you want to ask me something. Ask away then. <laughs> You're very direct, Master Lu. I will be plain. We're looking for proof that Dongsheng from Second Life has been evading taxation. Dongsheng bought some furniture from you at the beginning of the year. Do you still have the invoice or any other record of that transaction? Oh, it's about Second Life. It was a big order. How could I forget? Sure enough, Mr. Balai was right. Could we perhaps borrow that invoice? We won't have any evidence to bring against Dongsheng otherwise. Well, of course you can, but I'm not so sprightly anymore. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, I only do my woodwork and display finished wares here at Fonmu Carpenters. As for old documents and such, I keep them all in a warehouse west of here. But some troublemakers have recently moved there, invading my warehouse. Uh, I tried to drive them away, but they just wouldn't leave. Since you need that invoice anyway, it may be best to get it from the warehouse yourself. And while you're at it, you can teach those louts a lesson. So that's what happened. I see. I'll leave you to it then. I need to get back to work. One of those troublemakers. Ah, uh, over there. Oh, oh come you. on. <laughs> it's one of the Fatui. What is he trying to do? They must be plotting something against Liwa Harbor. Maybe they're the scoundrels who invaded Master Lu's warehouse. Shouldn't we observe him for a while, though, first? Ever since Osile attacked the harbor, the Fatui's reputation in Liwa has reached rock bottom. We won't cause a serious diplomatic crisis by getting into some small scuffle with the Fatui within our borders. You need not worry. Besides, I can already feel their malicious intentions. Consider it my intuition as the secretary of the Chising. And what are we waiting for? Let's go teach him a lesson. I hate Fatui. I hate them. Why do you think I don't have child? Eh, neither are you, really. For a second there, I thought you just killed Nobo already. Time to give this man a whooping. I swear, someone's like looking at my damage numbers and it's just freaking like, they're like, how are you this high in an adventure rank and do that much damage? out here picking berries we just taught you a lesson but clearly you weren't paying attention 
If you don't spill whatever you're scheming against Liyue, we'll be forced to use harsher methods. I think we were harsh enough. I'm telling the truth. There's no scheme. If you're telling the truth, then why would you, a member of the Fatui, suddenly appear on the outskirts of Chingsa village? Fine. If you really want to know, then, well, I was about to. About to what? Big berries over there. <laughs> Bruh. It's like, I knew that's what he was doing. This is the, it's also the way that wine was delivered, which is great. Uh, I must admit, I didn't expect you to come up with such a silly excuse. It's not an excuse. I rarely have a free morning, and I heard that there were fresh berries in this area. Think about it. I'm here alone, and Chinsa Village is nothing more than a retirement spot for old people. What could I be scheming anyway? Judging by how he's looking at us, it does seem like he feels like he's the victim here. So you have nothing to do with the occupation of Fanmu Carpenter's warehouse? Fanmu Carpenter's warehouse? Where's that? I swear, I only came here to pick berries, that's all. So it wasn't the Fatui who took over Master Lu's warehouse after all. So that's it? I also feel that he's telling the truth. Uh, um, whoopsie! I misjudged the situation and offended you. My apologies. Our, uh, our exchange only represents my personal views. If you wish it so, you can file a complaint to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Exchange? This woman, she's clearly aware that the Ministry of Civil Affairs wouldn't side with us for Dewey. Huh. Hold up now. Yes, precisely. As an alternative, you may try to solve this problem with force once again. Hi, Manzin. Oh, Jesus. So, <laughs> Zach just sent me the message about the Chinese rocket. Uh... And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's not good. That thing's gonna touch down on Earth, and maybe we're not gonna have a New York City anymore. <laughs> or it will land in the water. Or in Chile. Or, uh, we're all gonna be experiencing a nice earthquake. Darn you. How can you wear that solemn face while bullying me like this? What's your choice, then? I'll get back to my berries. Good choice. I'll get back to my berries. What a bittersweet ending. I made a laughing stock out of myself. I might have spent too much time away from work. My intuition is not as accurate as it used to be. Even I knew this man was just picking berries. No worries. It's always nice to teach the Fatui a lesson. <laughs> Let's keep moving towards Master Lu's warehouse. Our goal is to get the invoice, after all. What if he's still there? Oh, it would've been funny if he was still there getting them berries. This thing's a little bit away. Just wanted to pick some berries. Oh yeah, that rocket actually touches down somewhere on land. Yeah, that's not going to be good. I mean, Zach's saying it's... I mean, of course it's not as bad as that meteor that struck with the dinosaurs, but... So this is the warehouse. Seems like those troublemakers were nothing more than a few hair churros. Oh, 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 Let's wait. show them what we got. Well, it could have been worse. We probably won't have a New York City no more. Wait, 
Oh god, what if New York City is taken down and then, you know, it, New York City gets taken out and then we rebuild a newer York City above New York City and call it Old York City. Or they'd probably just say Old New York City. survived oh come on they have to have a geo shield I hate the ones with geo shields that's why I don't like being in leeway for fights Respond to this message and be like, well, wherever it lands, I hope it doesn't hurt too many people. Where am I? No, Goba, don't! That's the edge! Oh, damn, that's not good. I don't even know how to get back to the message. Completely dropped my whole iPad. Oh my god. I'm multitasking so hard right now and it's not working out. Please die, I need to send a message. Why can't you give me a story thing to do? An invoice from one man restaurant. Some dining tables and chairs. That's not it. Always hate it when you get a message when you record. I want to like go to Paimon and be like, are you stupid or something? We knew this, but then it'd be like, yeah, she kind of is.
Eh, bueno, ¿eh? Miss Ganyu, you're back. I hope it wasn't too much trouble rushing about like that. I promise to help you and I'll keep my word. Nothing to worry about. Look, it's the invoice for the transaction between Second Life and Fanmu Carpenters. We've brought it back. Oh, thank you so much. Now we can solve this problem. Agreed. How about we go to Second Life and have a nice chat with the owner? A nice chat, she says. A nice chat. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a nice chat, all right. Gonna be a murder case. No, wait, wait. <laughs> That's stamina. Can't wait to get more in Inizuma. Yeah, I definitely can't wait to go looking for all these electroculuses. Electrices. I'm really not looking forward to it. It's gonna suck. It's gonna take forever. I'll have to open up that interactive map. About that tax evasion. Isn't it icy? from the UI Pavilion. I remember you. I told you that all of my transactions are included in the records. My tax declarations are scrupulous as well. I do hope that my business won't be affected by any groundless accusations. Groundless accusations? Mr. Dongsheng, you seem very sure of yourself. But I sincerely advise that you cease this behavior immediately. It is liable to affect the fine you'll need to pay in the end. Uh, no, no. I'm an honest merchant. I would never get involved with any fraudulent sources of profit. Not so confident now, are you? Haven't I made myself clear? Mr. Dongshan, you've already been proven guilty of tax evasion. I just came here to see if you'd confess. What? P proven guilty? H how come? That's impossible. Absolutely absurd. He's talking without rhyme or reason. Must be crumbling under Ganyu's pressure. Time for the finishing blow! Mr. Dongsheng, can you tell me what this is? I... it... it's an invoice from Fanmu Carpenters. I... I'm... Master Lu, he... I didn't... Do you admit to tax evasion? This transaction was absent from the tax record. <sighs> I didn't think you'd find out. I didn't leave a single trace. Indeed. We wouldn't have found out if it weren't for Mr. Bolai's aid. Why? That imp from Wanyo Boutique? So he told on me behind my back. Hmm. He's got his own share of dirty laundry. Oh? Mr. Gongsheng, I'd like to hear a little more about this dirty laundry. Would you care to elaborate? Dirty laundry makes me think of that channel that Zack Orange and Winston had. Bring that up to them one of these days, see what they say. I don't think you'll need my guidance for what comes next. <sighs> yes, thank you, Miss Ganyu. I can take it from here. <laughs> That's good. <sighs> I must say, you're truly impressive, Miss Ganyu. Your enemy knows you best. To think, you came up with this plan and executed it so masterfully. She's better as a human than she is an adeptus. <laughs> It's actually one of your father's, the Tianxu's, old tricks. I just took some inspiration from it. M my father? Hitting your opponent against their enemies, and watching them drag each other down from an advantageous position, that's how Uncle Tian managed to keep his position in the Qixing secure for so many years. Oh my god, what is this? This person, <laughs> this chat group I'm in, is like, besides, none of my subscribers sent me a friend request. <laughs> that as Uncle Tian's daughter, you'd naturally grasp your father's strategies. Sounds like you're demanding friend requests and you're upset that you didn't get them. So, I decided to use one of your father's tricks and play it out for you to see. <sighs> I can see it now. Clearly, I still have a lot to learn about my father. I'm really grateful, Ms. Ganyu. <laughs> you're the kindest mentor I've ever had. Ganyu solved both Hoishin's work and family problems! 
two birds with one stone. Oh, you've helped me so much. You must... You must allow me to repay your kindness. Uh, that's not necessary. No need to be so serious. It was nothing, really. Then let me treat you to a meal. Hmm? The Traveler and Paimon are invited as well. I appreciate your help. Let's wait for Ganyu's decision. If it's just a meal, there's no reason for me to decline. It'll be my pleasure, Huishi. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what we mean. <laughs> oh my god, that face. Gotta save it for that face. Actually, I've already booked Signor Kiosk. I need a moment to prepare everything first. Let's meet there in a while. Hmm. All right. We dare not refuse such generosity. Oh, more? Really? Surprised. Are we gonna get like a second cutscene, one that's not a storybook thing? Probably not. Well, actually, we did get two cutscenes in Venti's thing. One was art book and one was normal. Which I might actually use the art book one from Ganyu. Wait, there's food here? Oh my god! There's food here! <coughs> Enter. Wait a minute. Have I... No, I don't think I've been here. Oh my god. <laughs> huh? I thought I saw his own wing. Let me take a seat. Miss Ganyu, thank you for accepting my invitation. And as for the two of you, your presence is also much appreciated. Sure. That's so kind of you, Huishin. You went to great lengths to oh, organize this. Oh, that's Hannah who said that. Sorry, I really need to like stop talking about Discord in the middle of this. <laughs> Truth be told, apart from thanking you for all the help, there's something I'd like to tell you. Oh? If there's anything I can help you with, just tell me straight away. No need to hesitate. Oh, uh, no, no, I, I don't really need help. Uh, could you just listen for a bit? With pleasure. <laughs> uh, when I was a little girl, my father used to tell me many stories about you, Miss Ganyu. Even though I have the utmost respect for my father, I always admired how gentle and reliable you are. I've only decided to join the Yuhai Pavilion staff because I've always looked up to you. I didn't know that you think so highly of me. However, in reality... Working at the Yuhai Pavilion turned out to be an arduous task. I can't compare myself to such an outstanding secretary like you. I often doubt myself as a result. I disagree. You're a great secretary in your own right. <laughs> Thank you. Over the years, I became a mother, too. So Uncle Tian is a grandpa! <laughs> Influenced by my youthful ideals, she followed my footsteps and came to be a secretary at the Yuhai Pavilion, too. Woman, how old is you? You were 20! At first, I was worried about her. It's not an easy job, after all. To tell the truth, I'm still unsure if she's capable enough. But after all that happened this time, I've made up my mind to support her choice. So, what made you change your mind? <sighs> The fact that she'll have you, Ms. Ganyu, as her senior colleague. You'll help her, gentle as always, and tell her your mom used to do it like that. <laughs> It'd be such a beautiful moment. If it's not too much to ask for, she might still need your guidance in 20 plus years, too. Huishin, I... I never thought that I meant so much to you. <laughs> Just like when you showed me my father's trick. Having you as their witness makes people feel at ease. Witness? 
It's true that I've witnessed thousands of years of Liyue Harbor's history. All the changes it's gone through. The stories of its people. But I've always regarded it as nothing more than the source of my loneliness. Kuishin, you don't know how important those words are to me. You've made me realize that I share another connection with the people of Liyue Harbor. Apart from my contract with Rex Lapis, they rely on me accept me and long for me to bear witness to their stories oh, of course you're irreplaceable to us <laughs> that's right that's why i can't disappoint you hooray ganya's finally cheered up even if i've really been supplanted i wish to fight for my place i won't let you down i'm going to fulfill my contract and keep working as the chi sing secretary you haven't been fired, it's a misunderstanding. Regardless, I'll go back and see for myself. I'm afraid that it might have all become a mess during my absence. No time to waste. Let's get back to work. Good luck, Miss Ganyu. Uh, we're leaving already? Paimon's still hungry! Damn, we still going? Why is this going? <laughs>